welcome to another edition of Shed Talk, my um, weekly magazine uh, video series uh, looking at the keeping of caged birds and in particular the breeding and exhibiting of exhibition um, budgery guards. So it's time for our monthly look at the um, breeding pairs and see how they're all doing, see if we've got any, um, how the new pairs are doing and how the old, the old pairs are stepping up, whether they were starting to produce um, any additional eggs and whether any of those eggs might be full or not. I'll also have a quick look at how the um, wooden, new wooden breeding cages that we've um, just set up are comparing with um, my preferred um, or currently preferred uh, all wire um, breeding cages and I, I might talk a little bit about how I'm getting on with those um, wooden breeding cages. But we do have a couple of new pairs to look at as well so we'll uh, we'll do that as we're doing the rounds of the um, all of the breeding cages uh, but as always a big thank you to all of those of you who um, watch the videos and who subscribe to the channel and those who comment um, all of this does help the um, channel to grow and of course promotes the um, hobby to a slightly wider audience um, if you haven't yet subscribed then of course please do hit the subscribe button and of course, if you want those early notifications, then click on the uh, bell icon and they will come through as soon as I upload another video. Well, now it's time, I suppose, to run around the breeding cages. So let's make a start with um, my pair one, which is actually in cage three. Um, this is an opaline um, cinnamon sky blue cockbird um, cross two a opaline uh, cinnamon uh, yellow face grey. Um, the cockbird is the outcross from Mr Rick Watts. You may remember this bird from last year. It did produce some chicks and a couple of them have turned out really nice. Um, so I'm hopeful this pair will produce a few more for me. The first round of this pair was completely clear um, and I put that down to the hen going straight into the nest box rather than um, uh, there being that period where the cockbird and the henbird get to know each other. Um, they're much better pair bonded now, cocks feeding the hen all the time. Um, I've not seen them mating, but that's not to say they're not mating. I'm just waiting for them now to actually um, begin to um, start their second round. The hen has been in the nest box, she's cleared it. Um, there was a little bit of her messing around in there. You might remember from the very first um, round off this pair she um, smashed a few eggs and I ended up putting a marble in there to stop her from doing that. Um, she's now settled down again, she hadn't laid so she's not been smashing eggs, she hasn't laid, she's settled down again, very quiet in this nest box so I am expecting her to start um, laying fairly soon. So that is pair one. Now let's have a look at pair four that are in cage six, it's actually a cage directly below um, the birds we were just looking at. Um, we've jumped to pair four um, because you may remember from the uh, last video that pair two and three didn't perform. Um, so we split those, we took the hens away, left the cock birds in the breeding cages um, and I've now found them some new partners. So uh, we'll have a look at those at the end of the video. So if you want to see those new partners then uh, please um, watch till the very end. Um, so what about uh, pair uh, four in cage six then? So this pair is an opaline uh, cinnamon sky blue, one of my birds, uh, crossed to a opaline cobalt, um, which you may remember is an outcross that I got from um, Mr Bob McCabe. Uh, this pair again, like uh, the pair we, the first pair we looked at, um, had a clear round in their um, first round um, and they've now, the hen has now started her second round. Um, so far she's um, laid a total of, I think it's three eggs, it may be four up to now, we'll have a look at the in the box in a second. Um, there was a big gap between uh, egg number one and egg number two and if you look in there I think you can probably guess which is egg number two, now we're looking in the box. Um, it's the large egg, so undoubtedly that's a double yoker. And as with all um, double yokers, it's extremely unlikely. You know, I've, I don't think I've ever had 
um, a, a large double yolk egg that even when fertile that has hatched out either of the two chicks. It tends to get addled um, during the process of the chick um, development or the chicks just die. So not very hopeful for that one. However, the other eggs or the other eggs that are in there, um, a bit more hopeful for because I have seen the cockbirds tread in the hen in this particular breeding cage. So um, touch wood, I'm hoping that these will, that that cockbird will have now filled the hens and I'll get um, a few birds off of the uh, Bob McCabe outcross. Well, a slight change of view, we've jumped across to the other side of the, the bank of um, wire cages, across to cage number one, which contains um, pair five. So pair five then are both my birds. Um, there's a cinnamon sky blue um, young bird, or I say young, so um, a young cock bird, first time in the breeding cage, cage cross to an opaline cinnamon um, sky blue hen that's an older bird and um, has a proven bird, been in the breeding cage before and been successful. So again, hoping this pair will perform for me. They took a little while actually to get going this pair um, and I was a bit concerned that I might have to split them. Um, but, at, but finally, the hen started to clear the nest box, cock started to show quite a lot of interest and um, the hen started laying. Unfortunately, the first egg she laid, she actually laid on the bottom of the cage and it was broken. So I've had to get rid of that, that egg, um, but she's continued to lay. I think it's another um, four eggs up to now. Again, we'll have a look in the nest box in just a second. So she has laid, um, continued to lay and has continued to lay in the nest box. So like I say, I'm hoping this, bird, this pair will perform um, and I am due to candle the first of these eggs um, very, very shortly. So we'll find out whether the cockbird um, being, you know, a young bird, um, whether he's actually understands what he's got to do and just um, get on and done it. And we will have some chicks. Touch wood, though, this pair going reasonably well at the moment. So the final pair of the um, existing pair, so not the new pairs that are in the wire cages, is um, my pair six and they're in cage two. So this particular cage directly behind me. And again, both of these birds are mine. There's a... Um, uh, a proven uh, cockbird, so a uh, normal light green cockbird, and it's paired to an opaline cinnamon um, light green hen that's off of one of the, so it's, it's off of the Watts bird from last year, so it's a young hen. Um, really unfortunately, this pair are showing absolutely no interest in anything at all. So the hen has got not even been in the nest box. The sawdust in there, the bedding in there that I put in there, is exactly the same as it was when I um, first put it in. Um, and that's now about three weeks, I think, we've had this pair um, in this particular cage. So I, it's pointless to continue trying. Um, like I say, they're not showing any interest. Cock's not even chasing the hen around, and the hen's not even poking her head into the nest box. So my intention is, is to split this pair um, very shortly, probably end of this week or um, beginning of next week. Um, and I've got another pair in the flight that I'm currently looking at, but they might be too closely related. So I'm gonna, I'm having a little think about it. So, um, but there is definitely a cockbird in the flight that I'd like to get into this breeding cage. I just need to make sure I've got a suitable hen um, for him. Um, but we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll have a look at that um, probably after Christmas. We'll have a look at what that new pair might look like. So time to look at the birds that we've currently got in the um, uh, wooden cages. And like I said, I will talk a little bit at the end about my experience of using, of going back to using wooden cages and particularly these wooden cages against the um, or wire cages again towards the end of this particular episode. So we'll start with the pair then that's actually over here in um, cage number eight. Um, and this pair is an opaline cinnamon um, grey crossed to a dark green. Now, as soon as I turned the nest box round, this dark green hen was straight in there. So she went straight into the nest box and started clearing it. The cockbird um, has not shown very much interest in the hen until really recently. So although um, this 
hen's been in there and is laying, and I'm due to candle the first egg um, fairly shortly, um, I'm not convinced that any of these eggs are going to be full. I think this is going to be a wasted round um, by this hen. And I put that down to the cockbird um, and not the hen. Um, he is just, like I said, he is just beginning to start to show some interest in the hen when she does come out of the nest box um, when I'm checking it. And when the other cockbirds are um, getting into that chatter bit, the raising their voices in the um, shed, he um, joins in. So I, I put this down to me now. I think this cockbird wasn't in condition. Uh, when I popped him in the cage and has now just started to come into condition so um, you know it's never really the bird's fault is it it's always down to us as breeders I think um, uh, so uh, mistake by me too eager to get this this pair paired up the cockbird is a proven bird so it's not like he hasn't bred for me before so I think I've wasted around but who knows maybe the last couple of eggs in here might be um, full we live in hope, don't we? Like all bird keepers, you know, there's always that, that hope that um, it will, the next round will be the successful one. So anyway, that's the first of the pairs that is in the um, wooden cages. So the second pair we're going to look at in um, the wooden cages is my pair eight, which is actually in cage um, nine. Um, both these are relatively younger, so both unproven um, birds, and we've got a um, cobalt uh, cockbird uh, crossed to a uh, cinnamon um, light green hen. And um, this pair are really, really compatible, so almost as soon as you put them in the cage, they were getting on um, with each other. Cockbird showing a lot of interest in the hen. hen Took a little while but got into the nest box, um, started to investigate it, cleared some of the sawdust out and has now started laying as we can see. Um, I've not seen the cockbird treading the hen but like I say you never know, it can happen when, you're, when I'm not around. Um, so I'm hoping that is the case and I'm hoping that we might get some eggs off of this um, cobalt which isn't a bad bird for my shed and I always say that it is all about my shed um, uh, where, you know you can only breed with what you've got so not a bad bird for my shed off of a sky blue that I um, tend to like and it, so I'm hoping I will get some birds off or some youngsters off this and I'm hoping there will be an improvement on the uh, cobalt so that is um, pair number eight in cage uh, nine so let's move on then to um, cage number seven, which contains um, pair nine, and that's the cage that's directly behind me. I was just looking at the moment, the um, cock and the hen are both at the feeding dish, uh, with the hen desperately trying to get the cock bird to feed her, I think, um, but he's been a little bit reluctant, um, although um, he does he does feed, feed her um, on occasion, but he was really being very reluctant to feed her then. She's now just had a... She's done another quick look and she's now gone to the seed dish to feed herself. Um, this is a, a cinnamon grey green um, cockbird crossed to a, a yellow face grey. So this is one of the young um, cinnamon uh, grey green birds that, um, that, you know, again I say this, you know, is, is a nice bird for my shed. So I'm hoping to get some off of this pair. The pair is um are you know getting on okay like i say that you know there is a little bit of feeding um going on between the cockbird and the hen bird so they're quite a compatible pen a uh, pair the hen is a uh, a yellow faced gray and it's a proven um breeder um but so far although the hen is spending a fair bit of time in the nest box and has cleared the nest box i've not seen any eggs um i've not seen any sign that eggs are being broken in there um, but I'm you know I'm beginning to wonder whether or not either um, she is just not going to lay this time round or whether actually the eggs are being destroyed and I'm just not seeing the um, results of that. If I don't get any eggs in this box within the next um, uh, few days next week perhaps um, I might just drop a marble in there and see whether you know 
that just to check whether or not she might be breaking them and I'll, I'll then be able to hear her knocking it around um, if that is the case or she might you might see some eggs once she settles down realize she can't break the marble so that is where we are um, with this pair again it's another pair that I wouldn't mind seeing because I've got a feeling if this this pair do does click um, there's a chance I might get some better better birds than than both the hen and the um, cockbird out of this particular pairing so um, who knows who knows well once again we live in hope don't we live in hope there we go so that is pair nine we'll now turn to the last pair in the all wire cages sorry the all wooden cages and that is um, pair 10 um, the, the last pair in here and the least pair I think because this pair have done absolutely nothing in uh, this cage so it's a um, a, a cinnamon grey green um, cockbird cross to a cinnamon grey green hen and this the cinnamon grey green cockbird in here is the brother of the one um, that we've just looked at in the other cage where I said it was all things seem to be going reasonably in there other than the fact that the hen hasn't laid any eggs um, and the hen is a grey green that has bred for me last year um, and is a you know a fairly distant relation to the um, cockbird so I again I was hoping there would be a click here and we might get some decent birds off of this pair but like I say nothing at all um, my only or my gut feeling is the hen despite looking in condition um, isn't because the cockbird clearly is although he, he's not really showing that much interest in the hen but um, I think some of that is the way the hen responds to him when he does so my gut feeling is that this hen is um, just not in condition. Um, I'm going to give this pair probably about another week again and then um, I will take the hen out and I will replace it um, with a hen from the flight. Now my, I said earlier there was a hen in the flight, like a pair in the flight that I was thinking about putting together but I thought that the hen was a bit close to the cockbird, a bit too closely related. If that is the case when I get them out, then my, I think I will use that hen in here with um, this uh, grey green, uh, cinnamon grey green cockbird. The, the hen that I'm looking at is a, um, a normal sky blue hen um, and isn't a bad bird. A little bit of poor wing courage that she's got uh, at times. Um, actually, sorry, it's a, a cobalt hen. She does have a little bit of a, a poor wing carriage, uh, but it's not, it's when she's um, sat reasonable on the perch, she holds them quite right, but she has this, when she, she has this habit of, of every so often just dropping across the perch and dropping her wings, which isn't best for a show bird, so definitely not a show bird, but um, the cock bird in here is, stands fine on the perch all of the time, holds his wing fine. Um, so I'm hoping that we might get something, if I do pop her in here, that they'll produce better than, than her anyway. So that's the final pair in the um, wooden cages. Like I said, we'll talk about the wooden cages in just a second, um, once we've had a look at the two new pairs. So as I said previously, I was looking to find um, their cockbird in cage five, a new hen. Um, this is what we've now done here. You can see them both in the cage. The cockbird is the outcross on the right hand side, an opaline um, grey and I've managed to find him a proven hen behind. Um, she's a nine, 2019 hen so she is starting to get towards the end of her breeding um, life but she is proven and I want to try and get something off this cockbird so I'm going to try and get a round or two off of this hen and um, the reason I chose her was because um, she did seem to be in condition she's been gnawing in the stock cage gnawing at the perches so I thought I'd give her a try with him not related um, she got a fair bit of width across the shoulder at the hen um, and quite a um, henny type above the across the top of the head. Um, I'm hoping that 
and the cockbird will give her a little bit more size and will um, aid a little bit in terms of the way she sits because as you can see at the moment um, she doesn't sit very well on the perch she tends to drop her tail when she's stressed so um, I'm, when she's a bit more relaxed she's all right um, so yeah this is the next pair going back into cage five and we'll have a look at the other new pair that I've uh, put down and this is the next of the um, new pairs are so actually in uh, currently in cage four um, hen is at the front, cockbird as at the back as you can see um, the, cat, the hen is a uh, dominant pied uh, cinnamon grey and the cockbird is the light green um, normal light green uh, that was in this cage before um, the cockbird as you can you can probably tell from the wings was feather plucked as a youngster um, but otherwise is a um, reasonable bird hence we're desperately about to go back into the um, nest box again um, so far you know the, the hen that has a I think has a really nice face um, on her uh, and but um, has dropped the tail feathers and tends not to grow them back which is a real shame uh, but cockbird got a full set of, set of tail feathers so hopefully the youngsters will have as well uh, this pair have now been in the um, cage for about five days um, as soon as the nest box was turned around the uh, hen started to go in there um, she has done a little bit of clearing, not massively, but has done a little bit of clearing of it. Um, they look reasonably compatible. Hen's more interested in the cock at the moment, so um, I need to watch that, make sure that um, the cock is not going to let me down on this particular pair. So there we go. It's a final pair that will pair the... Um, Pair that, a final pair that I'm looking to uh, pair up at the moment uh, and that's a full update on all of the breeding cages so beginning to see an increase in the number of eggs but there is a bit of a um, unsure whether or not any of those eggs are actually going to be um, full or not I have to wait and see so there we are that's the full roundup so have I been getting on with these um, wooden uh, cages versus the wire cages then? I suppose the first thing to say is I, found, I find the wooden cages um, a little bit more difficult to clean than the all wire ones. Um, access to cleaning them, there tends to be at the back of, of the tray, seed gets down there, you then have to try and get in behind it or and you know hook it all out which seems to disturb the birds. Um, so so cleaning is not as easy as the um, all wire cages um, the, but the biggest problem I found I think from my point of view are the way the nest box bits are designed um, and I'll show you what I mean when, I, when we have a look at the nest box so it's got a drop down cover on the um, front of each of the nest box areas that just comes down but the inside bit of the nest box is um, the back is is full full height so the moment you drop it down you, you've got the full um, uh, back uh, so even knocking the um, uh, back of the nest box um, if the hen doesn't come out and you start to pull it out the hen then can't get out of the nest box because the two holes have to line up um, the hole in the um, outer bit of the box and the hole with the inner bit of the box needs to um, line up so it means that the hen then can't um, get out so you either have to then put the nest box back in and hope that she jumps out or you have to lift her out and put her into the um, cage um, which I find a little bit awkward the other thing is is that the back and front of these nest boxes look identical and it, it, the other day I put the nest box out to have a to do the to do the eggs mark the eggs with you know to number them 
um, and when I put it back in, um, I put it back in the wrong way round. So the hen couldn't get back in because the hole didn't, look, you know, the hole wasn't lined up with the other hole. Um, luckily, I say luckily, I, you know, after I put it back in and um, was about to move on to the other box, I could see the hen who was sat actually on the floor near the nest box, looking a little bit bewildered, I think. Wonder what was wrong, had a look and noticed that, that the reason she was looking bewildered because she couldn't get back in. So took it out and turned it around. I've now put a cross on the back of each of the nest boxes so that I know that whether I'm putting them back in the right way or not. It's a mistake I'm only going to make once, um, but it is a mistake um, that have to, if the nest boxes looked a little bit different, a little bit slightly different design, I don't think I'd have had that problem. Um, what I might do is at the end of this breeding season uh, with these is actually trim down the back of the nest box closest to the, um, the drop down door so that I, one, I, when I drop it down I can see inside and I can chase the hen out. Um, it also means that I know which way round they go in and I can't make that mistake again. From a bird point of view though, I think from a bird's point of view, I've not had any problems with the birds settling in to these cages. Um, and the other thing is, um, I suppose, is there's no distraction either side of them in terms of them looking at the other pairs. So um, they certainly settled in as well as the birds in the wire cages. Whether they prefer them or not, I don't know. Um, and whether we're going to get more eggs from the um, wooden cages, and certainly more full eggs from the wooden cages, as opposed to the wire cages, well, only time will tell, and we'll find that out um, at the end of the breeding season. Perhaps we can do a review then. Well, that's just about all we've got time for in this video. Um, the next video is the final um, shed update for 2022, but don't worry, there will be lots and lots of other videos in December, and one of those will be a particular treat, I think, for everybody. I think everybody will enjoy it. Um, and um, if you don't want to miss that, obviously hit the bell icon so you get early notifications. Um, we'll also have a bit of fun, um, given as it's the holiday season, Christmas coming up. We'll have a little, one video will be just a um, little bit of fun. Um, so, but until then, please do stay safe and enjoy the birds. <laughs> <laughs>